Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with another bonus love read. This reading is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius. The topic of the reading is, do they intend to get married to you? Whoever it is that you're dealing with, you really want to know if they also intend to get married to you as you intend that? Let's find out. We will be tapping into their energies towards you and what are their true intentions for you. So stay tuned and uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there so always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest for personal reads you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box you can also check out other services that i offer as well in the description box so we yeah, are we have our first few cards here let's dive into the read and let's find out do they intend to get married to you yes or no let's find out <clears throat> the world six of wands temperance two of swords I feel like you know um there will be delays but um i feel like you know they really do de you know intend for for that in in regards to this connection um i feel like you know they they really see themselves having that with you like you know they really intend to get married to you or do it really do intend to take things next level with you but the only issue i see here is the delay the only issue is um that they would want you to be patient with them they would want you to wait on for them they would want you to be like you know giving into the connection with them as you wait while you wait you 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 supposed to be the support that they need that time i feel like you know they really have a strong bond with you they really love being with you but at the same time they really would love if you be patient with them and this connection and i feel like you know they really intend that to have with you but i really do see what this indecisiveness coming here it can be because of the delays like you know they they might not tell you to wait on for them uh, but they would want you to wait on for them but yes the possibility of it having with this person is very strong now i feel like you know they really love the bond that you share there there is a strong uh, connection which is on a deeper level on a soul level but then at, at the same time i feel like you know there is a lot of uh, um patience required here in this connection um it's it's more like you know this person whoever it is that you're dealing with they they have a lot on their plate they have a lot on your plate uh, on their plate and i feel like you know they would want um to 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 have you in their time of struggle with them that's what i'm picking up um, they might be dealing with a lot uh, right now as well. I feel like, you know, you might feel that this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, they, they might kind of at times feel like as if they are kind of cold towards you. But it's it's not what they are or it's not what they are trying to be. Um, it's just that they have so much on their plate. That's the reason. Um, I feel like, you know, at times they would feel like, oh my God, I cannot give you what you want. And then they would want that again because they they are kind of like you know um somebody who doesn't want to keep you waiting for them but at the same time they would love if you wait for them at the same time i feel like you know this person has a has a strong sense of uh, um desire around this connection to go next level with you but at the same time the patience is required here so would you be able to be patient with that person because i feel like you know the the only issue i see here is delays the only issue i see here is having the patience if, if you have that patience if you can be a support to this person it will happen it will go next level but if you think you cannot tolerate the patience uh the, you cannot tolerate the delays and you cannot be patient i feel like you know this connection would struggle um in in, in the future i feel like you know there will be like in times when you would feel like you are being uh you know forced to get things done to the next level but that's gonna make this connection kind of um uh you know it's it's gonna get shaky that time i feel like you know right now it seems like perfect in the coming future i do see this things things gonna stay perfect but then will be the time when there will be some decisions that needs to be made if you could um uh, you know if you could carry out this connection the way you are carrying it out right now that time 
I feel like, yes, you will succeed to take it to the next level. But I really do some struggles coming in that connection, uh, in this connection with, you know, in, in, in the future that way. But yes, if you ask me, do, does this person intend to get married to you? Yes, they intend to do that, but with delay. So if you love this person and if you can be patient with this person, yes, you will get what you deserve uh, and what you desire, but uh, you will have to be patient with them. And if you stay patient with them, you will, be you will be successfully having a beautiful relationship with this person in the future. Um, I feel like, you know, they, they really don't want you to go. They really don't want you to move on. They really don't want you to uh, give up on them. They want you to be with them in the times of their need. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, it's going to take a lot of patience and courage on your part because I feel like you know, for a majority of you, you're going to feel like stuck because I feel like, you know, you would want things to go next level. You would feel like, you know, it's kind of getting toxic or tiring for you to be in the giving situation and never getting what you want. So let me see if that happens, if you feel like giving up and if you feel like walking away, what would this person do? They would still have their guards up. They would still have their guards up against, you know, this connection. They would want, um, you know, they would want some more time. I feel like, you know, it's, it's not going to be like, you know, they are going to give in to the connection if you, if you do so. Um, they will still wish to, um, they would surrender things to divine that way because I feel like, you know, they, they are not going to be like, you know, putting extra effort to make this work because they would want you to be like, you know, understanding towards them. So they would be kind of selfish in, in terms of how they are going to see it. But at the same time, um, you are also going to become selfish that way because you're going to feel like, you know, I need this. I need love. I need commitment. I need marriage. And they are going to feel like, you know, I need time. I need time. So it's, it's going to be more like you know, both are going to get selfish in, in, in uh, individual ways. Um, but yes, um, let's see what is going to be the future of this connection. What is going to be? Okay. I feel like, you know, the justice will be solved. It seems like, you know, the future might, uh, especially if you be understanding, I do see the future would be very promising. They are going to love you, value you for who you are or who you are going to be with them in the tough times. But if you don't, um, if you don't agree to what, what they want you to do, what is going to be the future then? I feel like, you know, you will have a reconciliation. If, even if you patch, uh, even if you kind of try to move on or, you know, separate yourself from this person for some time, I do see the possibility of the two of you coming back together very strong. So I really see this connection kind of, uh, you know, going next level for the majority of you, even though there will be delays. But yes, the answer is a big yes. They do intend to have a future with you, but with delays, that's what their issue is. Let's see some Oracle cards around the situation that you are having and will be having with this person. What is the Oracle guidance for you in the given situation? What is the Oracle message and guidance for you in the given situation? Manifestation, be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper, manifestation step one. Now, for majority of you, it's very important as you are dealing with the situation or as you will be dealing with the situation, you have to be very sure of what you want. Do you want to wait? Do you want to give up? You have to have a choice made. If and when you have made that choice, write it down. Write it down and then take steps towards making it your, your you know, making it come to fruition. So you have to manifest what you desire. And how do you manifest? With clarity. You need to have that clarity. What is it that you want? Do you want to wait? Do you want to move on? Because if you feel like you are stuck or if you feel like bad around it, then you might have to kind of, you know, move on. And if you feel that um, waiting on for this person does not make you uh, feel bad, or feel lack of anything, go ahead, wait for this person to give you what you desire. But I feel like, you know, it's very important for you to determine what makes you happy. And uh, that's the way to go about it. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this video. If it was of help, do like, share, and subscribe till I do the next read for you guys. Take care. Bye.